This is a big game for us. We're not worrying about nothing. We ready. We ready to dominate. They thought it was going to be sweet. It's going to be a fight to the end. We ain't playing. And I mean it. The CFA teams only make the trip from Cold Lake once a year. And when that flyover hits on the first Monday afternoon in September, you know it's Labor Day. So why is the Labor Day Classic such a big deal here in Alberta? Well, every other province here in the West, they've got their own team. But in Alberta, we're divided right down the middle. 300 clicks separate the two major cities, north and south, and every year bragging rights are on the line Labor Day. This is the game circled on the calendar for football fans in Alberta, and it's been that way for decades. 1949, the first Labor Day Classic in Edmonton. It shifted to Calgary full-time in 1959 and to McMahon Stadium one year later, where it's been played ever since. Starting in 1982, Calgary and Edmonton haven't missed a season. You can make it 40 straight in 2022. But it's more than that for me. Labor Day is the one game every season where you know McMahon will be jammed with fans from across the province wearing both red and green. Most years, both teams are Grey Cup contenders, but even when they're not, this game still matters. Comes like a Grey Cup game in the middle of the season. Think back to 2003 with the Stamps in the midst of a painful 5-3 campaign. I remember vividly how much that 28-22 win on Labor Day meant. Or how about 1999? En route to a 6-12 finish, you're telling me Edmonton's 33-30 overtime triumph at McMahon wasn't their biggest win of the season? Of course it was. From Warren Moon to Doug Flutie, Gizmo Williams to Alan Pitts, Hugh Campbell to Wally Buono, some of the greatest of all time have made their marks on Labor Day. This is the game. Let those CF-18s fly.